I don't do girls trips. Every time I travel, I always travel with one person. That's my best friend. Because why I just came back from Cabo and one of the girls did not bring no bread to the trip. Why am I even making a video about girls trip? Because I believe there's an underlying problem that comes with girls trip. I don't think it's about not having enough money. I don't think it's about girls being vindictive. I think there's a reason why these women go on trips. Before I even booked the trip, my intuition told me not to go on the trip. Like I was the last person to book. I spoke to my mom. She told me to follow my gut. She told me not to book. But it was one of my homegirls birthday and I never ever celebrated her birthday with her. So I was just like, I like traveling. Fuck it, I'll pop out to the trip. The reason I wanted to go wasn't because of her though. It was because of the people she was inviting to the trip. So I was just like, if I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna go if she invites just her friends. A lot of times when I hear these stories, I always hear them in a way of, uh, we went with this girl that I didn't know and I didn't want to go with her. See, a lot of these times, these girls trips always, always have two or three outliers that nobody actually likes, but they happen to be friends with somebody in the group and it always goes south. And I did, I invited my man. <laughs> My man, that's not my man, but he is my man, but that's a whole nother story for next time. And before y'all even say anything, I asked her first before we made the trip to go together because she knows him and we normally hang out together. So she was okay with it. Plus it's also good to have a male figure around that you can trust because girls like to drink. And he looked out for us the whole trip. So fast forward to Thursday, before we went on the trip, we left Friday morning at 5 a.m. We all went to my friend's birthday dinner. We gonna call her Keisha. Keisha had her birthday dinner the night before. She invited two other girls and one of the girls was going on the trip with us. We gonna call the other girl Imani. We all ordering, having a good time. But like Imani vibe from like the very jump is throwing me the fuck off. I think one of the reasons that we go on these girls trips and the reason we do these things is because our lives become stressful or what we believe to be stress. And some of us want to live in a fantasy. Some of us want to live in a place where we do have money and a place where we can go travel and a place where we can do all these things. See, this happens when you do become a person who's maybe not financially stable. You're going through some things or honestly, you just spend your money like an idiot. And it does happen. OK, I've been in this place before and I know that when I've gone on trips, I've always spent the little bit of money that I've had. I've always tried to make sure that I didn't spend anybody else's money, but it has happened. I've gone on, I've gone on trips and had $30 to my name. It's because you just want to pretend. You just want to get away. You just want to have your reality be different for a second. The problem is, is when you do stuff like this, it becomes selfish and then you end up using other people and that becomes a problem. Like she gives like, pick me, yes man, I'm a fan type of vibe. You know, one of those girls out you can peep just follows you around because she just wants to be like accepted so bad. Yeah, she was one of those girls. But I'm like, not my friend, not my problem. So she can do whatever the hell she want to do. But one thing about it, I can read a person and my, I'm never wrong. Every person she brought around me, I told them exactly who they were. And before they even showed them who the fuck they was, I was right. So we ordering, we tasting food. I'm vibing with the girl that's sitting next to me. She didn't go on the trip. But when the bill came, the bill was like $798 or something like that. So she goes to this dinner that ends up costing $798, which ends up being $724. Now, the girl doesn't have enough money to pay for this, as you'll see here in a second. The problem always happens in this area. Why do you want to impress people who don't really care about you like that? And why would you pretend to have money? You will always get found out. This is always a cautionary tale. Do not go on trips. Do not go to places you cannot afford. It's just nothing to gain from it. And I would highly suggest, yes, have a little bit of fun here and there. But while you're still young, while you're still in your 20s, 30s, just chill, relax, sit back, just enjoy life and spend the little money that you do have. Because when you try to keep going on these girl trips and these vacations, that money starts to dwindle. And it's going to be hard to keep up with the rich person in the group. And we all have one. If there's everybody in every friend group has somebody who makes more money than the rest of the group. It's going to be hard to keep up with the Joneses. I just tell you, please do not go down this route. You will just end up embarrassing yourself using people. And then you'll get labeled as selfish and you will no longer be going on any trips and be able to get away. And this leads to even more problems. That's valid for four people. Especially since we went to a nice restaurant. Mind you, if you do the math, it was only $181 per person. My bad, this was the receipt. It was $724. So I put it on my card because like, I didn't really care. Everybody sent me day bread automatically. The other two girls sent me day bread. All of a sudden, her cash app is not working. Her Zelle is not working. Her Venmo is not working. Her PayPal is not working. Her Apple Pay 
is not working. Talking about, oh, it must be the service. How come everybody's service was great when they sent me my bread? Now it's your turn. Your service is bad. Come to find out, this girl shorted me $46. And I was definitely pissed about it because, girl, I don't even know you for you to be owing me bread. She was like, oh, did you pay yet or can I tap? Girl, obviously you saw me put my card down for the whole bill. That's why everybody sent me the bread. I told her I paid. She showed me she only had $135 in her bank account. Why do you only have $135 in your bank account? We leave tomorrow. So I'm like, maybe she gets paid tomorrow because it was Thursday and we left on a Friday. So she sent me the bread and I got the bread of $135 and she was just like, I owe you $46. So I'm like, okay, thinking she's going to pay me tomorrow because it's Friday. Yeah, I never got that bread. And once I peeped, that's all the money she had in her bank account. Oh, I was tight because she texted me silently. So nobody knew she shorted me the bread. I didn't even tell the birthday girl until like two days into the trip because I didn't want to embarrass her, feel me? Now here's the issue. See, what happens when we do this kind of things, we end up spending all of our money, such as this lady did. Now, I and know I am in a different field. I know I'm in a different uh, mindset when it comes to these things, uh, just because I've been the person on the other end. So this may be foolish thinking. This is maybe me just giving people a chance or, you know, maybe this is just something inherently stupid with me. If I give somebody money at any point, if anybody asks me for money and I give the money, I do not expect to ever be paid back. Now, in this situation, that's not what happened. This girl paid for it thinking she was going to get the money from everybody. Right. So it, this is of no fault of her. Right. She doesn't know this girl. She's not friends with her. I completely understand. Now, if if, you, if I was to pay for your dinner, thinking I'm going to get the money because I don't know you and I'm waiting for your part of the money. And then you send me something about your bank account saying that's all you have. OK, I'm going to let you have it. I'm not going to expect the hundred thirty five dollars from you. I'm not going to expect anything from you. I'm just going to have to write it off and be like, well, that's a loss that I'm going to have to take because I'm not going to take every dime into somebody's bank account just so they can be embarrassed and not be able to do anything on the trip. However, I will pull a person like this aside. I will have a conversation with them and I will tell them what I'm telling you guys today. Listen, it's I understand you want to go on vacations. I understand you want to live this false life or maybe you just expect people to just take care of you. What I'm here to tell you that this won't happen often. The world doesn't owe you anything and you can never expect somebody to come save you. Next time you get to go on a trip like this, don't come. Because I'm a nice person. I'm a person who's trying to help you. But somebody else may not take too kindly for you shorting their money. I would highly suggest that before you go on a trip, you make sure it's a very, very cheap trip. If you have $135, make sure this is the trip you can enjoy with $50. I used to go on trips like this all the time. Well, sometimes I used to go on trips and I used to... Me and my buddy would go on a trip for $100 on a weekend. we just go a couple hours to a big city, have a good time... We didn't spend a whole ton of money. Today, we would spend more money because we have more money to spend. However, when I go on a field trip, a field trip. However, when I go on a trip right now with my friends, no. I don't have the money to go on a trip. I'm currently trying to get back home to my hometown. I don't have money to go on trips. I wouldn't if I could. See, that's the thing. is When you start to become more financially responsible, you don't have to deal with these things. It's okay to say no to yourself, which is hard. Something I've had to learn to do. Something that's getting, I still have to learn to do in other areas of my life. To the young lady who, if this story is to be true, to the young lady who had $135 and had to spend every cent just to eat dinner, ma'am, whatever you're going through, I know it may be hard, but you cannot do this to people. You don't get that excuse you don't get to use people. You don't get to short their money. Don't you ever go on a trip again to use people because that is selfish. And I do find that disgusting. I understand sometimes people want to get away. Some people want to just get away from their life. But I'm honestly giving you the benefit of the doubt because honestly, you could probably be a sick, disgusting person who wanted to use somebody else's money. So I don't know these things. And I don't even know if you exist. I'm just saying this to the people who are listening. Do not use people to try to get away from your sad ass life to be harsh. OK, don't try to get away and try to maybe for one day I could pretend I got money so I could post on my Instagram. Maybe one day I could pretend to have money so I could post to my friends. Maybe I could pretend to have money so I could feel better about myself. Don't do this. You're only going to destroy yourself in the end. I'm just hoping I'm just hoping that somebody can hear this. And stop going on girls trips 
Too many times I have been watching, and I watched, I've watched quite a few story times. Stop going on girls' trip. I don't care how much money you make. There's no reason to be going on a girls' trip every single month. That's not something that you can afford to do. Okay, if you have enough time to go on girls' trip every single month, then you have to get back to work. You need to get to doing something. You should be too busy to be able to have to go on vacation every single month. I'm just being honest. I don't care how much money you make. I just don't understand. I don't I just don't see people who are business people who go on vacations every chance they get just to go on a girl's trip because there's at least two or three girls that can't afford to do that every time. And if you're having to pick a different girl to go with every time just to keep it up, maybe you got a problem going on. You don't need to be going and getting drunk every single month as often as you can. It gets dangerous. It gets foolish and you're wasting money. You can take a girl's trip maybe once or twice a year, not five to six. Stop it. For my men out there, y'all know the y'all know the deal. I don't really need to explain this. If you watch my show, you already know how I feel about this. So please guys, stop going on trips. Stop wasting your money. Start trying to fill your time with something else. Get creative. I know it's hard, but try to find something else to do besides getting drunk and smoking, okay? Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. Would you go on a trip with only $135? Try to get away. Try to escape. Let me know. Goodbye.